too much has happened in the cold arc but the two main things we remember is that kawaki has regained his karma and is probably now the strongest character in the series and that momoshiki will not be able to revive himself in boruto's body however while we are focusing on these major events kijimoto has dropped hints about the time skip and he has basically told us why kawaki and boruto are fighting to understand this fight we must walk through Kawaki and Boruto's life and understand what events lead them to be the way they are. Boruto was raised in a peaceful village right after the fourth great ninja war. Boruto had both his parents, Hinata, Naruto, and his little sister Hima. At that point in time, Naruto was not the Hokage, so Boruto probably enjoyed all the attention he wanted. From a psychological standpoint, Boruto was raised in a way that promoted all the factors of intelligence. The factors of intelligence are genetics, culture, and environment. From a genetic standpoint, Boruto was influenced by Hinata, who was extremely smart, which was evident in the tuning exams. Even though Naruto is basically retarded, his battle IQ is amazing, and Boruto was likely influenced by Minato's genes, which is where the comparison of Boruto and Minato comes from. Culturally, Boruto was raised by two shinobis, which is why he is a shinobi himself. Lastly, Boruto was raised in a great environment where he never had to worry about eating or even being beat by his father. He was surrounded by great people and had amazing friends like Shikidai who were intellectually just as smart as him or even smarter. All these factors played a big part in why Boruto is so smart in the anime and didn't even have to cheat in the tuning exams. However, Boruto's life took a change when his first major conflict was introduced. When Naruto became the Hokage, he stopped giving Boruto that attention he once had. This forced Boruto to mature and start raising his expectancy levels for Naruto. Although Boruto wanted that attention he once had, he wasn't mad at Naruto for that. On the contrary, he was mad because he did not want Naruto to be unpresent in Hima's life just like he felt Naruto was in present in his life. In addition, he did many things to gain his father's attention, but one of the things he did hinted towards the Kawaki versus Boruto fight in the time skip. This was during the tuning exams when Boruto took the scientific tool and decided to cheat during the test. This situation discussed and addressed what power truly means. Boruto was faced with two ideologies, working hard for power or using technology to shorten or eliminate the need for training. At the end of the arc, Boruto truly became a ninja and picked to work hard for his own power instead of trying to get it quickly. Now let's discuss and walk through Kawaki's life. Kawaki was raised in a completely different environment. In a psychological standpoint, Kawaki was raised in the worst condition possible for intelligence and to raise a child. Kawaki lived in fear and was confused as he only knew his dad and didn't have any friends in the village, but it was his his dad who beat him and abused him. In addition, in Kawaki's life, it seems as if every time he trusted someone, it came back to haunt him. He trusted his dad and did everything for him, but his dad ended up beating him and selling him off to Jigen. He trusted the goldfish seller, but Kawaki discovered that he was planning on trafficking him and selling him off to some traffickers. During his stage of despair, he had Jigen right next to his ear manipulating him and making him dependent on him. Through his training, Kawaki finally became stronger and realized that it is only through power that he can make sure that he doesn't get harmed. This philosophy was ingrained in Kawaki, which is why, like Kid Sasuke, he was ready to do everything for power, altering his body, taking the karma, everything that Kawaki has experienced in life tells him that power and being stronger than everyone else is the only way to survive. This is evident when Boruto and Kawaki are fighting, as Boruto wants to go through the ninja way by slowly building up their chakra, reading scrolls, and learning jutsu, while Kawaki wants to do it faster by gaining experience by fighting and learning in a way that is not very shinobi-like. This is the conflict of ideologies and it's not that Kawaki is the villain 
or that Boruto is the hero. In that fight, Boruto ends up winning and Kawaki is forced to train like a shinobi and go through a more slower and honorable way of gaining power. When it comes to what happened to Naruto, Cold hinted what Kawaki would do as he told him that Earth will become a battlefield where only the strong can survive so it would be best for Kawaki to transport all his loved ones to another dimension. This is probably what is happening in the time skip as Kawaki has transported his loved ones to another dimension. In the time skip, Kawaki is probably telling Boruto that he should abandon his shinobi philosophy as ninjas cannot compare to Otsutsuki's. And it is likely that the person who wins this fight will likely decide how they will deal with the Otsutsuki's as Boruto and Kawaki usually come with agreements by fighting. And to be honest, I agree with Kawaki. The shinobi way of operating is over and it cannot be applied in these new times. However, this means that Kawaki did not destroy the village. So who do you think did it then? Watch this video right here where I explain the evasion that is about to take place and who exactly destroyed the village.